Santa. I guess I have no choice but to go on this elephant tour. <laughs> okay, soccer. Jeez, let us begin. Good idea. Good idea. Uh, what? I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case. Just why me? Am I the only one that can can use my brain, use my brain hole to figure things? Jesus. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. Like, what is her deal? Like, like she's a cop, right? So, but why is she testing me? Like, this doesn't make any sense. I, I what, what is her, what is her deal? I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. You were my Nakama. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation, towards the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart sta starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed, and the elevator started to move. I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough stuff. That was definitely Leon's, Leon's shirt, though. It's the only person it could be, because he's the only person whose sleeve looks like that. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgement? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further to the bowels of the school. So how does this work? Yo ho ho, you finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close, it's total shit! Okay, okay, everyone find your assigned seats and sit down- Oh, god, assigned seats? Oh, we're gonna have problems. We did what he said and found our seats. Oh, Jesus. The seats were arranged in a ja- Fucking Sakura can't- can barely even fit. Sakura doesn't even just to stand outside her podium. Fuck me. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. Oh, I can just look down. I can just look down Aoi's shirt from here. Like, hey, girl, how you doing? It was set up so everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their tension and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Oh, you're standing, dude. There, there's no seats here. There's just standing room. And so the curtain of our first case opened. A deadly judgement, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly fate. Okay, we get it, Makoto, for fuck's sake. A deadly class trial. God, I s how does Hifumi's body work? Yeah, let's, let's save that, let's, let's save. Okay, open he set skills. Lodi's voice. Increases damage to the opponent when the statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. Okay. Oh, and because we were friends with Chihiro, we got an extra one, but we don't... We haven't had really any free time, so... Hmm. What's this going down below? What's, what's all this stuff going on down below? I, I missed it. Oh, I hope that's not important. I hope that's not important. Okay, open e-handbook. Truth bullets. Victim of Sayaka Maizono, time of death at 1.30am, body discovered in Makoto's room, death of the stab on the Okay. Evidence of a struggle. Sword. The sheath. My toolbox is shut, so it couldn't have been me. How could nobody see that as the word, as the word Leon? Like, look at that. How could, how could you not say that's not his name? Written upside down. The screws have been completely or partially removed. Knife set. 
One of the knives have gone missing. Okay, all right, all right, we got, we, 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 we got it, we got it, we can do this. I just hope we found enough stuff. All right. Let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. Okay. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, they'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone will graduate. And the oh, boy. Mm. The Japanese is really biting me in the ass here, isn't it? This is completely different. They're actually voicing this. What? <laughs> whoever did it, everyone close your eyes and whoever did it, raise your hands. I don't think they're gonna go with that talk, damn. Don't be a goddamn idiot, why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? Friendship penetrates death's barrier. Are you fucking kidding me? Ifumi, shut the f shut the fuck up, Ifumi. Yeah, why is there 16 seats? Why do I feel like there's supposed to be an extra person we haven't met yet? Okay, let's get started then. Now let the class trial begin! Mm hmm. Your first non stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yes, please! I would like to know how to do this. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. This means you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute anything they say. Any relevant truth bullets you'll find investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to aim, then fire with the left mouse button. Play close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review these controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay, so... During a non-stop debate, just gotta look for something that's... End of a struggle. Okay. 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 Nope! Nope! There was struggle! Something odd about that last statement. It definitely contradicts what I already know. Chihiro, you best not be doing any murders, girl. I swear to God, you best not. For this first debate, we'd like to take a swick, quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lies or contradictions, the argument will repeat. If there's a group of statements, some words appear in a different color. Did you happen to notice? That represents a potential hole in the person's statement, a possible weak spot. These weak spots reveal important, though not always in inaccurate, sections of a person's statement. Your truth bullet is only effective against these weak spots. So when you see them one come up, take aim and fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. Also, you can fast forward an argument by holding down the control key. Well then, good luck and have fun. Well, I already did that one, right? Did I miss? So when I just got to look for yellow, yellow things that I, di that I disagree with, yeah? Why is this thing moving so much? Nope, 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 nope. Not right. Come on. Yes! OBJECTION! Oh, Chihiro, no, girl, I didn't want to do it to you. Just a second, Chihiro. I remember how my room looked. With the way things have been damaged, I think we can safely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? 
She must have been attacked in the main room first, then ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. S sorry Oh, girl, no! Aww. Next is, the, next is the subject of the murder weapon. A true warrior would only use their fists. Fumi, shut the fuck up. Tell me what was used to kill Sight? Well, we know what was used. It was the gut. It was the knife. It was the knife. Kitchen knife set. All right, so they load them up, and I've just got to aim for for what I see when I see a contradiction. Some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without doubt, that is the murder weapon. No, 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 Mondo. Objection! Take that! No, I don't think it was a knife. It don't, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Uh, a kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that the knife must be the murder weapon. A coward's weapon. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see it being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife. Where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her. I'm starting to feel like this guy might... Hmm. He's kind of pushing the Makoto as a murderer narrative too hard. And his sleeves... His sleeves, man. They, they match. That's right, Makoto's room was the scene of the crime, Toko. What more proof does Toko need? Hold on a second, I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of a trial? Well, we talk all we want, it's not gonna change that conclude. Yeah, no, I hope it was you. You jackass. I don't think it's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You, re you really believe that, man? Oh man, this is twisted. Oh, Chihiro's like not having any of it. She's like, no, I don't wanna. She's right. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere, just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the. Like, I watch after this, Makola gets out of here and he just becomes like the world's greatest detective. There's a bit more to learn about non stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Alright, let's go. You could concentrate by holding down the space key. While you're concentrating, time will slow down, so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. What the fuck are they doing with that dog in there? Jesus. On top of that, it will steady your aim, making it easier to target, pretend- Oh god, there's gonna be weak spots that are like super hard to hit. Oh fuck. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge. This gauge empties, you can't concentrate. The focus gauge will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest, no need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh, Jesus. Alright then, what we got? What we got here? What's our bullet? Owie's account. Okay. So that was- she, she didn't see- so that she didn't see anyone go into the kitchen. Okay. Uh, no, Owie did- Owie didn't see- Owie didn't see me. Nope! Gotcha, Toko! Objection! Okay, wait, hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. N next you're gonna say you're not the k killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. Toko knows. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Eh? Remember when you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yeah, uh, that's right. At any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Uh, no. I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. I swear by my inflation devices. 
The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining room hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife! <laughs> okay, w what about this? Toko found this. What if the idiot swimmer girl and M Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Toko knows you're evil. <laughs> idiot swimmer girl. She just pulls out a switchblade. What do you say, love? And even more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear, if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and I shall answer. Each murderer is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, people, people can work together, but if one of them has no chance of profiting from it, then there's no reason anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Ah, oh, good grief, enough already. No, okay, there are no accomplices in this case. I like how they're just coming with all this complicated bullshit after Monokuma said, no, having accomplices is stupid, to the point where he's just gonna be like, okay, spoiler alert, there's no fucking accomplices, you stupid idiots. Oops, did I say that out loud? Oh, no. Monokuma, you did a goof. Anyway, I didn't go into the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. This has been another quick mystery. Oh, my nose itches. My nose itches super bad, I'm sorry. Oh, okay then, so who, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right, Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. I hate to have to ask, are we sure Sakura's... Me. <laughs> a true warrior with the name of the falling cherry blossom. Right. But that couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife, man. Oh, that just doesn't make sense, man. Actually, no, because, um, well, just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Why, we... We trained in wrestling. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking. I asked her to stay over. Which means we have airtight alibis. Y you... What? What? When was that in any of the regulations, Toko? You stayed over. Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? Toko, that's lewd, Toko. I know, Toko. What if they were bashing the clams, Toko? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms, but it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned rooms. Uh, so I, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's unwholesome! Does Taka not realize that Sakura is wearing a Sailor Fuku? Does he not realize that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but, I am a girl. <laughs> what? You are? Oh my god, I am so sorry. <laughs> a true warrior does not assume another's pronouns. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh yeah, that's true. One other person did come into the dining hall while we were there. Then why didn't you say so in the first place? Because <laughs> a true warrior keeps its mouth shut. Well, because they're not here anymore. Someone who's not here, are you talking about... I knew it. Sayaka, she's the one who came to the dino. Then later, she wound up dead. So Sayaka took the knife. I fucking knew it. Sayaka was the one that was always about like being the chef and cooking all the food. So she had at most access to the knives. 
S Sayaka! Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Sayaka. Hold it! Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife. That is the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. And a true warrior knows it's not unusual to be in love with anyone. It's not unusual to feel care for anyone. I, a true warrior sometimes forgets the words to that song. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She went right straight into the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely, she planned to kill you. Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure. I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. No. No, Makoto. She, you, you saw that DVD and I saw that DVD. She took that so she could kill someone. You know, Maka Sayaka was going to kill someone in order to escape, and it backfired because she's incompetent. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her, and she was killed by it. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you could have still killed her. But I was in her room. Nami? See, he did do it after all. Toko was right. Yes, I was Toko. No, you're wrong. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. Mm hmm. You possess the most terrifying talent. Mm hmm. Damn. If I don't do anything, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because, you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he is the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit is about to be- what the fuck is a hangman's gambit? As things advance further into the class trial, the hangman's gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the mouse to aim, press the left button to shoot the desired letters. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. If this gauge reaches zero, when you run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. Was it? What should have been at the scene? What should have been at the scene? Oh, fuck. I hope this isn't hard. I'm not good at Hangman. I. Seems to- No, not H. Uh... You? No. I don't- I don't know. I don't know. What should have been at the- what should have been at the scene? Um, I, I don't know. H, not I. I don't understand. No? I, I don't know. It's not A, it's not... What, what letter? It's not A, it's not... R? Not R. Can I get more letters, please? I, this isn't helping. Can I get more letters, please? Not A. I, I only getting is the same letters again and again and again. And I'm not getting nothing different. Wait, what? What? H, 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 um... 
I didn't know what was supposed to do that. Okay, so it starts with H. Third letter I. I don't know. I honestly don't know. No. A. Hair! Shit! Give me an R. Give me an R. God damn it, I'm an idiot. I'm an- I- I'm- I suck at Hangman. I suck at Hangman. Ah, That's right, there wasn't a single hair on the floor. So the culprit removed some evidence? Yes, and if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual to find my hair at the crime scene, if the crime scene was in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been- But- But that doesn't make any sense, because she's a corpse in the bathroom. That makes sense, does it not? No, if that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Ahaha, <laughs> very true, very true! Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course. They had to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely, it's beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then, Makoto isn't the culprit? Oh, yo, waifu, you know it. But are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No, there are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I, a true warrior, would like to hear these ro these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first and fled into her bathroom, right? Yeah, they ran after her and got into the bathroom and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Whatever do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There's clear evidence left behind. Don't you? Do you remember Makoto? The killer struggled getting in the bathroom, and the evidence that proves that is. Um, bathroom. Doorknob. E. Getting in the bathroom. You're talking about the. <coughs> oh, shit. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob, man? What doorknob? Oh, man, G Hero's losing his shit, man. The doorknob from my bathroom, it was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed and the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true, but what does that mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. It's another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. What, so you're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? The only choice of is to break it, you break it! There's nothing bewildering about it! You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to- Uh, yes, please! From here on out, the number of weak spots will start going up. No matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is, not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. You use a truth pill on the wrong one, not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now this is important, because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun. Alright then. Let's see, what's what's actually so we gotta keep an eye on like what's actually a lie. Bathroom door frame. Alright. <laughs>